Welcome to May at Mac at Home and the Honors Kinesiology presentation. My name is Steve Bray. I'm the Associate Chair for Undergraduate Studies in Kinesiology, and it's my pleasure to give this presentation to you. At McMaster, kinesiology is an interdisciplinary field of study where human movement is the intellectual focus. We study human movement from the cellular level right on up to the health and societal implications of what human movement involves. Most of you are viewing this presentation because you're considering your future and thinking of different programs and wondering why McMaster would be the place for you. Well, in kinesiology, our vision is to be the leading kinesiology program in Canada, be recognized among the world's best in research, teaching, community engagement, and knowledge translation. And what that means to us is that we continually are innovative and striving to be the best we can be in each of these important areas. Kinesiology at McMaster is unique in many ways. For one, our program is science-based. Therefore, students graduate from our program with an Honors Bachelor of Science in Kinesiology. It's also a direct entry program, meaning students come out of high school and they begin our program right in level one with a cohort of students that carry on with that same group of students through levels two, three, and four. Our enrollment target each year is about 200 students. This allows for small interactive lecture experiences and even smaller laboratory experiences where students will uh, engage in activities in groups of 20 or 30. Our program is also distinct in terms of the flexibility that it allows. And by this I mean that we have a core set of courses that students will take to earn their kinesiology degree, but there's enough room or opportunity outside of kinesiology to pursue courses in other areas, and many of students who graduate in kinesiology also have a minor in biology, chemistry, psychology, or another area of interest. We have a research-focused and student-centered approach in all of the teaching in our curriculum. Most of our courses are taught by full-time faculty who have active research programs. This allows students to engage with cutting-edge research in the content of the courses that they take to have opportunities to speak with and engage with the researchers and faculty who carry out that research and to gain opportunities by volunteering or carrying out practical placements within the laboratories where faculty's cutting-edge research is going on. We have an active hands-on learning approach. By this, I mean that there are numerous courses within our curriculum that have active laboratory experiences. We also have something quite special, and that's the PACE, or the Physical Activity Center of Excellence, that's located right in the kinesiology buildings. I'll speak more to this later. In most of our courses, students gain hands-on, integrated, experiential opportunities. And some examples are in human anatomy and exercise physiology, biomechanics, functional anatomy and injury assessment, integrated physiology, ergonomics, neurophysiology, and motor learning. Our program offers state-of-the-art facilities with over 5,000 square feet of teaching and laboratory space. Our laboratories are equipped with state-of-the-art data collection systems that are used in research labs as well as hospitals. Our laboratory experiences take place in custom-designed exercise physiology, biomechanics, and motor control testing pods where groups of four to six students will carry out those laboratory experiments and experiences together. We also have motion capture systems with digital reconstruction, as well as a vertical jump assessment unit and a dedicated body composition analysis room that has a bod pod machine. Our level one curriculum focuses on knowledge translation and the acquisition of information related to the discipline where students learn how knowledge is generated, methods of inquiry in the area of kinesiology, and gain exposure to relevant literature. To give some more detail about the Level 1 curriculum, it consists of five courses. Foundations in Kinesiology provides students with an introduction to the study of kinesiology, 
and the presentation of multiple career pathways that they may not have considered when making their decision to come into kinesiology to begin with. Two courses in anatomy and physiology, a course in motor control and learning, and human nutrition and health. Admission to level two requires that students complete all these courses with an average of at least 6.0 on a 12 point scale or C plus. And we're proud to say that retention level from level one to level two is close to 100%. More detail about the curriculum is presented here. In level two, students take 18 units or six courses, neuromuscular physiology, cardiorespiratory physiology, biomechanics, health psychology, musculoskeletal anatomy, and human growth and maturation. And then move on to level three and four, where again, they take six courses per year, right? but they get a selection from a suite of over 30 courses, where they can focus on specializations or pursue interests in areas of biomechanics, motor control and learning, and exercise physiology, as well as health, exercise psychology, and rehabilitation. It's important to recognize that there are several other requirements for obtaining the Honors Bachelor of Science degree, and that is completing a course in Calculus, Math 1LS3 or Math 1A03, six units or two courses from any other discipline in the Faculty of Science, as well as Statistics 2B03. Experiential and hands-on learning is an important aspect of our program. And as I'd mentioned earlier, the Physical Activity Center of Excellence is a feature of the kinesiology department. The PACE is located within the Ivor Wind Center, where the Department of Kinesiology is housed, and PACE services members of the community, cardiac rehabilitation patients, healthy seniors, and people with cancer, spinal cord injury, or multiple sclerosis. They come to the PACE to engage in exercise, to have expert supervision, and to engage with the undergraduate students who facilitate their experiences in getting uh, positive outcomes for the rehabilitation opportunities within the PACE. There are also community placement experiences that our program facilitates and students can organize themselves in physical therapy or rehabilitation clinics. There's also the David Braley Center where the Sports Injuries Clinic at McMaster is located. And students often engage in uh, therapy placements within the clinic itself and many of our students are the field therapists for the intercollegiate athletic teams. In addition, there's research practicum courses where students will engage in research activities in many of the active research labs with faculty members on campus, and a thesis research course for those students who gain an appreciation and interest in more intricate aspects of research who engage in those activities as a capstone course to finish off their degrees. The Physical Activity Center of Excellence is shown here in some still photographs and a small video is shown at the end of the presentation. I hope you'll take the opportunity to look at some of the fantastic things that are going on in PACE. It's important to recognize that many of our students take opportunities right from first year to engage in activities in the PACE and then there's over 26,000 hours per year of volunteer engagement that occurs within the PACE. Most students who enter our program seek careers in healthcare settings and subject to meeting those program specific requirements, many of our students go on to master's degree or professional degree programs, including chiropractic, medicine, physiotherapy, and occupational therapy. It's also important to recognize that our degree program fulfills the criteria for licensing with the College of Kinesiologists of Ontario. In 2006, the government undertook an initiative to register kinesiology as a regulated profession in Ontario and established the College of Kinesiologists of Ontario in 2012. And the scope of practice of a kinesiologist consists of the assessment of human movement and performance and its rehabilitation and management to maintain, rehabilitate, or enhance movement performance. So students complete our degree, have an opportunity to go on to become a registered kinesiologist. We track where our students go and the success of the students who come out of the program. And 40% of our graduates 
In recent years, are accepted into professional degree programs such as chiropractic and medicine and occupational and physical therapy. 25% indicate that they're pending enrollment in graduate studies in a program beyond the kinesiology degree. And 85% felt kinesiology at McMaster adequately prepared them for a professional degree program in their chosen field. Looking forward, the anticipated admission average, which is characteristic of what we see over the last few years for 2021 and 22, should be in the range of 87 to 90%. And the high school requirements then are sixth grade 12 university credits in English, biology, calculus and vectors, and, and three other courses. And the OU AC application code is MV. I want to conclude by giving a shout out to the Kinesiology Student Society, a really unique feature of the Kinesiology program at McMaster. As a distinct entity on campus, organized by the student leadership within Kinesiology, that puts together a number of planned activities throughout the school year, not only to uh, give opportunities for incoming students and welcome week to become more engaged with the program, right, to, but to facilitate support and the mental health and emotional well-being of students within the kinesiology program. Truly fantastic and supportive group. Thank you for spending time today to go through the kinesiology presentation from me at Mac. Please take a few moments, if you have them, to watch the PACE video that's attached at the end and to see some of the fantastic experiences people are getting at the Physical Activity Center of Excellence in the Department of Kinesiology. Hi, my name is Stuart Phillips. I'm a professor in the Department of Kinesiology, and welcome to PACE. PACE, or the Physical Activity Center of Excellence, caters to five different programs. MAC Cardiac is a program dealing with people undergoing cardiac rehabilitation. The MAC Seniors is basically any healthy older person over the age of 55. The MAC MS Fit program is for people with multiple sclerosis. The MAC Wheelers is a program for people with a spinal cord injury. And we also have a program that caters to cancer patients or cancer survivors, which is called MAC Warriors. We all come here in different places of our treatment, but we all come for the training that we need to get ourselves strong again. Pace has been an awesome spot for me to work on my walking. So when I started here, I could walk uh, one lap of the track with three very long breaks. And now I'm up to 15 laps and I do multiple laps without a break. Since I started coming here, I've definitely seen improvements on my mobility, my transfers, and also my walking ability has improved a lot. I think one thing that's really special is that we take students who are learning right now and give them the opportunity to interact with seniors. I think that benefits both parties. This is the place to come because they will take a long time going over a program with you and finding something that will suit you. I've got biceps I didn't even know I had before. A tremendous amount of strength in my upper body. The staff and volunteers at PACE um, make such, such a difference. They're very supportive and encouraging. They are so helpful, they're so friendly, and they're always uh, ready to give advice. This facility is more than I ever expected it would be. Mm -hmm.